Welcome to Civics Chat, empowering youth in democracy, a podcast brought to you by Dominicanos USA that dives deep into the heart of civic engagement and amplifies the voices of the future leaders of our society. In each episode, we will discuss with our youth ambassadors the essential elements of democracy and discuss why voting matters to them. My name is Carlos, Civic Engagement and Outreach Coordinator at Dominicanos USA. And today, I'm here with three incredible panelists who have been highlighted in our USA Ambassador Program. Hi, I'm Grace Lynn Ampia. I'm a sophomore in Bronx Theater High School. Um, my name's Sabrina. I'm also a sophomore at Bronx Theater High School. Hi, my name is Ciara, and I'm a senior at Bronx School Law and Finance. We're going to talk about some crucial topic for the young people and civic engagement. The USA Ambassador Program was established to promote and create leadership through civic engagement and voter registration. What about Gracelyn, can you tell me about your experience at the program? Uh, my experience my experience were like was like really good because I'm an introvert and like it gave me the opportunity to get to talk to other people to sign the papers and stuff. So like it was really good. Oh, um, I want to add on also, I'm actually the opposite. I'm an extrovert, so I was excited to talk to like my upperclassmen and promote the DUSA program. Um, my experience with this program has been great, and I definitely recommend it to younger people especially because we start from 16 and you're a- able to register, register to vote at that age, and it helps you build up confidence because you're speaking to other people in different in your class and grades and your community. You know, when I first started working at Dusan in 2021, 20, I was, uh, you know, a little bit shy. Um, also, would say it was, I was not concerned about, like, local election. I was only say, oh, the only election that m- that's matter, or the only important election are the presidential election. How this program changed, like, your perspective or your point of view instead of, like, civic engagement in, in, polit- in politics. Okay, it definitely changed my political point of view because, as Carlos said, I thought, you know, why does my vote matter? But at the end of the day, your vote counts as a whole vote because, like I was going on now, a lot of people voted for Joe Biden, and many of us don't agree with what he did. So we had that power, and a lot of us didn't use it because we didn't care about the election, and now we're paying for it. I also agree. Um, I feel like... I was able to like know that my voice was heard, like knowing that my voice was heard with the vote and like how a lot that can change with it, the benefits. I feel like it helped me know and like now before I wasn't into politics, but now I feel like now that I know my voice is actually gonna be heard. And so yeah. I like to agree with what both of them said because at me too I did not really care about politics. I didn't think I was supposed to care about it. But like after I like I learned from the Dusa program that my voice can be heard and it can make a difference then I actually started caring about it. You know, now in 2024, we had the presidential election and we have 41 million from the Gen Z that will be able to vote in this election. How do you think that we can um, improve and, you know, motivate young people to vote? I think how, like, we can do that is by, like, like sharing the DUSA program, like, mostly on social media. And as he said, like, there's a lot of Gen Z people now. And as we know, most Gen Z people are on social media. So we can, like, promote the DUSA program by posting on social media. Um, yeah, I also say, like, having someone come in, like, how I was introduced to the DUSA program with Carlos and how he came in and promoted and let us know and, like, educate us young individuals about the DUSA program, it helped me actually want to get into it. So, yeah. Yeah, it helps young people in to get into politics because I was already a polit like I love politics, but helping other people understand the difference between Democrat and Republican because a lot of people our age don't understand the difference. So with the DUSA program, it helped me set it aside and help people vote. So besides the DUSA program, do you think there is another way that we can like like promote and motivate like the young people to vote? And register to vote, you know, we have a like young people they don't want to register to vote, you know, as you experience like doing voter registration to sixteen and seventeen years old. How do you think you can motivate people to vote? Especially like young people. When it comes to young people, there's mainly, you know, two ways that they care about voting. Especially with young people is that you either have to bribe them 
or you have to do it through social media. And social media has become a very big impact, especially a lot of young people. We just started tuning into podcasters. So I feel like this podcast would definitely help them, you know, come into the DUSA program because when I was having people sign up to register, they didn't know what DUSA was. So I had to explain to them. And now they get it. And, you know, I got their vote. Yeah, I feel like letting them know that, like, at 16, you can register to vote. A lot of people, my, even myself, I didn't even know I could register to vote at 16. So when I got introduced to the fact that I can register, ooh, register um, I wanted to get into it. And now I actually know that young, I can, like, influence and inspire other people to vote at, well, to register to vote at 16. Um, what I also think is by letting them know that their voice can actually make a difference if they try to, like, make, make take an impact to something. You know, Sierra, you mentioned a very good point. You mentioned about social media. You know, now we have a technology revolution. You know, we have a great innovation as AI and all the stuff. How we can use, like, uh, social media, AI to promote civic engagement? Who wants to start? Why should I? Okay. Um, a lot of people nowadays are afraid of AI. They feel like it's going to take over. And that is, like, ridiculous because it's not. AI is programmed to help us not to take over. And at the end of the day, we have the control over AI. So we can use AI to help people vote. Like, for example, um, one of the DUSA members, he has an AI house, and, you know, he, I remember him telling me, like, he'll walk in and say, like, the AI person's name and tell them to do something or ask them, like, what's the news or what's the politics like today, and it will explain. So it goes more in-depth than a regular person like I can. Yeah, I agree. Also, like the AIs, I feel like it helps us. Like, it's not meant to obviously take over and none of that. I feel like it's mainly help, it helps us like guide through our life. Like things that we don't know, the AI can really help and like have a really big impact on things that we don't even know about. So like it just helps us guide throughout our daily life. Do you think there is any like change that you will make to attract more people, younger people to vote? Um, I feel like like, how 6 year are able to register to vote, I feel like they should also actually be able to vote, only because I feel like, like, we're the future. Like, this generation is the next, like, it's the future, basically. So I feel like our voice, we know what we want for our future, and I feel like our voice is going to have a better, a better impact for the future that we have. So I feel like letting us be able to vote would kind of help a little bit. So, yeah. I'd like to add on to what Sabrina said. I feel like letting 16-year-olds vote be, um, will, like, be good because they know what, like, they want for the future. If you let, like, 18 years old vote, like, they know what they want, and maybe it might not add up to what the 16-year-olds want. So letting the 16-year-old, like, people's voices talk for, like, the younger ones will also be really good. The voting is not... DUSA just doesn't promote voting for 16-year-olds. It helps you break down and understand the difference between voting and, like, political rights or your amendments and everything. It helps you break down and understand that. So don't think it, we're just trying to get you to vote or anything. No, we're trying to get you to understand the political, um, how do I say it? Like, the political environment that you're in. So it's not just about voting. It's more to understand and have you vote, just in case. Because I feel like a lot of teenagers, my, myself, my parents do not vote because they feel like their votes doesn't matter. So everybody in my family, they never vote. So me joining the DUSA program actually helped them learn and figure out, you know, why do we vote? So they will be voting in this upcoming election. You know, there's, um, most people say, oh, I don't want to. I don't go to vote because, you know, there's a million voters. So why my vote will change, like, the result? But, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of election that have been, like, one by one vote. You know, it's, that's why. It's too important that every person go to the pool, that every person cast a ballot, that every person vote. So instead of, like, local elections, do you have, like, any, any to add about, like, local election, how your local representative can help you? When it comes to local elections, I feel like a lot of... I'm going to use New York, for example, because that's where we at. A lot of New Yorkers don't feel like voting for their government or anything or the state senator matters because they... You know, they just don't care. Yeah. Not only that, you see, like, we can go with, like, housing, garbage, and, like, I would say safety and crime. Just are the local representatives who, like, work on that aspect of your life. When it comes to local elections, I feel like we don't really think about it because 
um, I'm do, I'm not sure about the exact amount we sent to the war and you know Palestine and and Israel, but we sent money that could have been used to help people in housing, homeless people, schools, you know, and we sent that money over there for a war instead of helping build that community because whenever we have a a bad drain or whatever, the most of the drains are clogged. So you know we could have spent more money on the MTA and help build safer environments, but we didn't. So we have the vote to change that, and we should. I need to add. I definitely agree. I feel like a lot of things that need to be changed. I feel like voting would really help our environment because, like this is like this environment that we're in isn't as good as it should be. And I feel like voting for the right thing would literally help the environment so much in the way everyone lives. So, yeah, I like to agree with both both of them. Said like most people think like their vote wouldn't make a difference, but sometimes like just that one vote can up somebody's vote, and your vote might be the right thing. So. You voting can actually make a big difference. So, based on your experience during like our program, do you have any advice to those young people that are not involved in civic engagement and politics? Um. Yes, I would like to say if you have like if you ever got the opportunity like I have to get to learn about DUSA, and you should actually take it because you get to learn a lot more and get to know that your vote because your vote can make a difference. Because I know a lot of people who like say, oh, we should have this, we should have that, then maybe you should vote, so then we can have a difference. I agree. Um, I feel like, for me, I wasn't really into the politics thing, so when um, I got the chance to try something new, because it, it was really outside my comfort zone when I tried it, but I feel like doing something new out of your comfort zone can make a difference, just like I did, because now I'm very comfortable with politics, and I feel like I'm very much educated than when I was before. Like I did not know much about politics at all. But now I actually know that my vote changes a lot in this environment that we live in. It changes a lot when it comes to just the voting in our in our environment, like how we live, basically. So, yeah, trying something new and voting can definitely help. Um, with DUSA, I got to build the courage to speak about my political opinion because I was more so afraid of what people thought. But with DUSA, you know, it was like a judgment-free zone, and I was able to say who I, you know, think are better for the environment, what's better for the environment, who will be the better president. And a lot of the students that I had registered agreed with me. Some of them didn't, but they still had their own opinion, and they gave me their facts on why they felt like that. This concludes our first episode. I would like to thank our panelists. Also, I would like to thank uh, Bronx Theater and Bronx School of Law and Finance for the opportunity to be here and have the student name develop the program. We all of that will say thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.